First thing before the run, oiling up around all the oiling points. I'm using this syringe that I also use to drain the displacement lubricator after the run. I've got it loaded with car motor oil and I'll be oiling the pump, connecting rods, all those points and all around the loco. Okay, the next stage is to fill the loco with water. We've done the oiling, now the water. We are going to fill the tank. I'm going to fill the boiler through the safety valve hole. Using my trusty 150ml syringe, I'm going to put 150ml into, straight into the boiler. I've got the bypass valves open, I can see something going through. There we go. Let's close the bypass valves. Keep the water in the tank. Oops. Right, now. This tank takes quite a bit. I think about 400. There you go, 150 takes it just past the top of the barrel. That's 300. Go. And just a bit more. That's a good height. Okay. Now we've got the water in the tank and the back boiler. One thing I like to do is to, is to get any airlock out of this, out of the pumps. So I close the the ram to full extent, and then I just remove this tube until water flows through solid, and then push it back on. And I'll do that for both sides, hopefully to ensure good pumping. Now we're ready to light the fire. This loco requires a suction fan, it's my trusty one I've used for many years. And I'm using a barbecue lighter for safety. Turn on the gas. There you go, as easy as that. Can you see the flames? It's a noisy, fluttery burner, but it does the job. We've got the blower open the crack, we've got the regulator closed, drain cocks open. Now we'll wait, should be about three or four minutes to get steam up to 40 pounds. Okay, so the suction fan's off, but the blower is on. Just needs a tiny crack to open, really. Otherwise, it's a bit fierce and can suck the fire out of this burner. Got about nearly, nearly up to 40 pounds now. Soon be ready to start heating up these big cylinders. Safety is lifting. 